IHTN Studios. It's Braves Beat. Hello, Braves, and, I, and welcome to our 14th episode of Second Semester. I'm Jill James. And I'm Dylan Condor. So, Jill, did you know that, that this day, April 30th in 1789, George Washington was inaugurated as the first president of the United States in the Federal Hall in New York City, with New York City being the first capital of the United States? Well, that's very interesting, but did you also know that on this date in 1939, President Franklin D. Roosevelt appeared on television for the opening of the New York World's Fair? Isn't it amazing that this appearance started the first regular television service in America? Wow, how about that? And here we are producing Brace Beat, which is a televised program on YouTube today. Yes, and the beat goes on. Well, there's a lot to cover this week, so let's get on with it. Thanks, Jill. So you know that April is Autism Awareness Month, and this is our final week of April. Discover what you can do by getting involved on, in April by visiting autismacceptance.org. You can also find this link in the description. The Overture Awards have selected Claire Hardick as a semi-finalist vocalist. Congratulations. Last week, April 22nd, was Earth Day, a day dedicated to demonstrate the support for environmental protection. Earth Day features a wide range of events coordinated globally by EarthDay.org. Use the hashtag EarthDay on Twitter to join the conversation. Allergy Club is a club that's open to anyone. Almost everyone knows someone with allergies or has an allergy themselves. At Allergy Club, we talk about how to cope with these allergies, but also about how to live life to the fullest with them and not letting them hold you back. It takes place once a month in Ms. Schaefer's room on Wednesday from 3 to 3.30 p.m. Contact William Dalton at william.dalton23 at IHSD for more information. If you yourself have allergies, have a family member with allergies, or even just know someone that does and want to help make their life better, join Allergy Club today. Let's toss it over to our sport reporters. Guys? Hello, Braves. We're back in the studio this week to share this week's sports report. I'm Dougie Zhang. And I'm Mateo Lopez. So, Dougie, congrats on being the MVP last week at the Reds Future Showcase. Thanks, Mateo. It was a fun tournament. Well, let's get into the sports news for this week. Our boys and girls track and field teams competed in the Sycamore Golden Baton Invitational this past weekend with 15 total teams. The boys had some good results. The mixed 400 relay to throwers relay took first place while Dylan Haller and Thompson placed third in the discus with a 125-2 and two toss. They had third places finished from three other relays as shown on the graphic. On the girls' side, the girls mixed 400 relay took throwers Relay placed first. Elizabeth Whaley was first, and Hayden Withers was second in the 1600 meter run. Sarah Vanatsky took first place in the discus. Well done, track and field teams. Our Indian Hill boys lacrosse team lost a tough game at Bishop Waterson Friday, 8 to 9. They played Elder Monday at home and won by a score of 15 to 5. This game was live streamed on IHGM1 YouTube channel and is now available on demand. They play at Marymount this Friday. Good luck, Braves. And our Indian Hill girls lacrosse team had a nice win over Wyoming last Thursday, 19 to 12, but then lost a pair of close games to St. Francis de Sales on Friday and Columbus Academy on Saturday. They played a tough Loveland team Tuesday this week and lost 10 to 13. They play again next Thursday versus Mount Notre Dame at home. Ich Tim will live stream this game. Moving over to girls softball, our Lady Braves lost to a tough Taylor team last Thursday. It was senior day on Saturday at home against Madeira. Shout out to Jill James, Sarah Stropek, Caroline Cassidy, and Emily Sitchell. Keep on battling, Braves. Now over to our boys baseball team who beat Taylor last Wednesday at home 6-1. to one. They played at Taylor on Monday and lost 2-7. to seven. They play a pair of games with Finneytown on Wednesday and Friday and then at home Saturday against Goshen. Good luck, Braves. Our Greater Cincinnati number one rated boys tennis team beat Miami Valley, Finneytown, and Loveland by a dominant 5-0 score, then won big over Oakwood on Saturday 4-1. They played Seven Hills on Monday with a score of 4-1, then Wyoming on Tuesday with a final score of 5-0, and they played, they played Wednesday at CovCath to finish out this week. Keep up the great work. Well, that's all the sports news we have for this week. Let's toss it to you guys at the news desk. Thanks, Doug and Mateo. And speaking of sports, our Indian Hill competitive cheer team qualified to compete in the National High School Cheerleading Championship in Orlando, Florida. This past weekend, by the end of the competition, 
Our team plays second at Disney Wide World of Sports on Sunday. Wow, great job ladies and congratulations. On Wednesday, we celebrated five more athletes who have signed to play at the next level. Signing are Dylan Holler and Thompson, Robert Brunner, Nathan Berger, Mateo Lopez, and Luke Robinson. We now have a total of 16 student athletes that are moving on to move on, play the college level. Congratulations to these outstanding athletes. Congratulations to our national Latin exam winners. Summa cum laude gold medalists were Elsa Zhao, Connor Kaufman, and Jesse Chan. The magna cum laude, maxima cum laude, silver medalists, and cum laude winners are shown in this graphic. These are outstanding results for 2021. Congratulations, Latin scholars. This past Wednesday, we continued our tradition of our annual Be Braves Day. The only part different was that this year it was optional. On this day, students converse with one another about race, identity, culture, and how they feel like they fit in their school. Once again, Be Brave Day was a huge success thanks to Mrs. Sayer, Mrs. Jackson, Mr. Cobb, and our student volunteers. The Indian Hall High School Science Olympiad team made history by placing in the top 10 at the state competition. Over the last six years, the team has improved every year at the regional competition, qualifying for state for the first time last year, even though the state competition did not take place due to to the pandemic. And this year, our team placed in the top 10 of the state competition. Please congratulate the following students for their efforts and success. Julia Rano Amaratova, Maya Anderson, Sarah Grace Brown, Will Ford, Faye Hardick, Nikki Cody, Sophia Liu, Hannah McTaggart, Kate McGrath, Joy On, Victor Stetler, Amitash Verma, Ji Zhang, Elsa Zhao, and Sophia Zhu. Well done, Braves. Pawn us on Saturday, May 15th, this year at the Kenwood Country Club for dinner and dancing from 7 to 10 p.m. After prom is at the high school from 10.30 p.m. to 1.30 a.m. One ticket, two events for $65, which you can purchase on EasyPay or via a check to Mrs. McCarthy. Congratulations to Will Kleekamp, who was a finalist for the Southwestern Ohio Football Coaches Association and National Football's Foundation That's My Boy Award. Congratulations, Will. With prom just around the corner, do you have a date for prom? Oh, I'm going with the group. Your family. I, what? Well, that's all the news we have for this week. No, we're not brushing over this. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. No, seriously, stop. And remember... Jill, please. Stay classy, Indian Hill. Jill! Hey Braves, today we're going to be going around the hallways asking people random questions, so let's get on with it. Alright guys, here we have Sydney. Hi. <laughs> so your question is, is cereal soup? No. What? No. Explain. Explain, please. Because soup is like hot, like cereal's cool, but, but there's some hot cereal. That's disgusting, <laughs> I'm not eating that. Valid That's answer. Alright. Mr. Walter, what is your signature dance move? Oh, uh, the sprinkler. Would you mind demonstrating? <laughs> it's, it's not my signature, you know, like, but this one. Beautiful. Thank you, Mr. Walter. All right. <laughs> hey, sorry to interrupt your study sesh, but I have a question. Okay. So, uh, what is the best season of the year? Um, I'd say the summer. Incorrect. Let's go. Hey, Gularano, I have a question for you. Okay. Is cereal soup? I mean, I guess. Okay. 